Well, this is just an update on my eye health. Uh, as many of you probably know, I had a, uh, an attack of Bell's palsy back in April of this year, and uh, I'm, I'm a lot better now. I still dribble out of my mouth if I'm not careful <laughs> but <laughs> when I drink. But uh, other than that, I'm fine. I, I can blow my nose, I can blow out a candle. Uh, let me tell you, those are big accomplishments when you've been struck with Bell's palsy on one side of your face. And uh, it was on my left side. Uh, it affected my eyesight uh, out of my left eye for a while uh, until I could start uh, closing my eye. I don't... I, I can shampoo now without getting soap in my eye, but I'm still a little careful on that. Uh, I, because if, if you get soap in your eye, it's going to irritate them the whole damn day. I went to dinner uh, in May up in Virginia City, which is about 1,500 feet higher than the valley floor in the Madison Valley here in Montana. Uh, Virginia City was an old gold rush town. Um, I had a hemorrhage in my right eye, and I noticed it when I got back. Uh, I was seeing red splotches above and below, and I got really worried about that. And, uh, after a couple of days, it went away, but in, oh, I guess May, uh, the uh, eye started not seeing very well. I started getting hair in my vision, and it wasn't my hair, because my hair is not that long, uh, but I had hair in my vision, and I went and saw a eye specialist. And uh, he recommended me to a retina specialist. And it turns out I had veins growing in the gel of my right eye. And it was blocking the retina so that I could not see. And I literally could not see. I mean, it was like looking through heavily frosted glass uh, for s several months. And... Uh, Anyway, so starting in August, I started getting shots in my eye once a month. Um, I got the last shot, the third shot, in, uh, well, last Thursday. Uh, and uh, it was, in, uh, I got great news and I got bad news uh, at that time. I took the eye test before, the month before, I could not see anything on the eye, eye chart. I couldn't even see the big big type. But uh, this last Thursday I was able to see three rows of type until I just couldn't see it. Uh, it's like looking through a forest of vines but I could see detail better. Those vines or the uh, veins are still in the eye. And so uh, he gave me another shot. Now I know that sounds gross getting a shot in the eyeball but it really I. I he gave me a shot, and I didn't even know it, and he said, all right, time for you to go. And I said, what, you gave me the shot already? He said, yes, sir. Didn't hurt a bit. Um, it's just the thought of it. It drives you crazy. In about a month, I'll find out more about my right eye and what I need to go and what uh, route I'm going to have to take. I may have to have laser to burn out the remaining veins in there. Uh, and if we can't do that, uh, then I'm going to be looking at three, two years of shots in my right eye every three months. So that's the way it is. Um, I still have cataracts in both eyes, so I'm going to have to get that taken care of at some point so I can start seeing what I'm doing better. But uh, other than that, I'm doing fine. And uh, health-wise, I'm I'm ripping. <laughs> well, for those of you who don't know, a uh, true form armature is this little 24 inch right here. They're outstanding armatures uh, for people who have never made an armature before, who don't know how to make an armature. It has the bone structure, it ha it's all uh, proportional, 
All the, all the measurements for the bones are, are worked out. And it was an amazing armature that uh, saved me tons of time. But you can't get them uh, right now. And uh, I don't know when you will be able to get them again. Um, and uh, it's, there's a lot of different reasons and I'm not going to go into them because they're personal reasons for uh, the gentleman that makes these armatures. But uh, Sculpture Depot in uh, Loveland, Colorado, uh, and I decided to show you some alternatives. You can make your own armatures, of course, but uh, for those of you who want to get a ready-made armature, this is the alternative. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.